Hello everybody and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe Noli, coming to you live from the city of Abuja, Nigeria. If you're seeing this face for the first time, please and please kindly subscribe. And if after watching this video you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and also comment in the comment section. Yes, we are all here to learn. There are some things you might have, there are some ideas you might have that I don't know about and I'm here to learn as well. I want to still make more money for myself. So, as we all know what's going on in the world, the whole pandemic thing has made so many people lose their jobs, so many people, their salaries have been cut, so many people have not been paid because there is no money, so many people are going through one financial issue or the other, so many things are just going on with people financially and we wouldn't blame anybody at all for this because no one planned for this, we did not see this coming, so many people saw 2020 as a year of big goals career big careers we all dreamed so, so many things we all we all had big dreams for 2020 i remember in 20 2010 when they were saying vision 2020 vision 2020 now in the vision 2020 we're here in the year 2020 and it's not what we planned for so when people go through financial or when people are in financial stress distress right now we shouldn't blame them for not planning and all that. Nobody planned for this, basically. So today, I'm here to share with you business tips or business ideas you can start up right now, right now, even while you're on lockdown, that will help get you some money, that will help increase your income, basically. Before this pandemic, Mondays used to be my um, finance and business tips, but now I'm going to shift things around. Wednesdays will now be my finance and business tips, while Mondays remain my social issues day. So without wasting much of your time, if you fall into any, any of these categories, you've lost your job, your salary has been cut short, or you've not been paid salary, or you just need more income for yourself. Money can never be enough. Like when I hear people say, oh, you have three jobs or you have three side hustles, why do you still need more, more, more money? I'm wondering, like, don't you want to live a good life? Don't you want to live a baby girl life? So you work hard and some of us want to retire at a very early age. So we have to hustle now and make more money for that retirement time right now having a side hustle or having a business is no longer um a luxury as people used to claim that oh having a side business or a business is a luxury now it's no longer a luxury it's a necessity like you need it right now things have actually gone out of control so we need to bring it back and be in control of our finances and of our lives so if you fall into any any of these categories i've mentioned then this video is for you the first business idea i'll be giving to you is being an online coach an online tutor consultant anything you can think about see if you have that knowledge knowledge they say is key knowledge they say is power if you have that knowledge so many parents are looking for online tutors this online thing, I'm going to categorize it into two, for the kids and then for the adults. So the first category, which is for the kids, so many parents are looking for online tutors who would actually help in tutoring their kids because you cannot leave your child to just keep playing every morning they're playing or they're watching cartoon. You cannot just leave your child like that. So many, so many parents are looking for who can teach their children, maths, English, all of that, all these key subjects. So many parents are looking for that. Then if you now have, if you now know how to, if you now know any other language apart from English, that is an added advantage to you because I know parents who are looking for tutors who can, online tutors who can actually teach their children another language, maybe because they want to go on vacation after this whole thing and all of that. So if you know how to, if you have another, if you know how to speak another language, it's an added advantage to you. But apart from the whole language thing, if you can teach, if you can, if you if you have the ability to teach people, if you were once a teacher, or if you used to be a teacher before this whole pandemic, you can set up an online class or online school for your for your students. You just talk to their parents and all of that and tell them, oh, you can organize an online lesson for them and teach them what they are missing. Because you cannot just let the children stay idle, doing nothing this particular period. Their brains need to still be active. Their brains still need to be active this period. Then the second category of this online tutor is for the adults. So many people right now are at home doing nothing. They have 
more time to themselves unlike before when oh every day maybe for nine o'clock you go to work next time you're coming into the house maybe it's around six o'clock and you're already tired you cannot learn anything again now is the right time to learn something and some people want to learn something and if you are good in something let's say you're a consultant or you're a coach you're that kind of person who can teach maybe about personal hygiene about um maybe tailoring about how to bake all things like this how to sew um maybe how to um, design all these design things online things whatever you shall, you shall know what you want to learn and you shall know the gifts or the talent you have then put it into practice if you are someone that know how to teach animation how to edit things like that just put it into work organize um, an online class for it maybe through whatsapp or through zoom or through telegram whatever social media platform you choose to do that you do it when people are looking for ways to gain more knowledge and you see that by the time let's say you put your class at five thousand naira by the time maybe 10 people get to register for that class or that course you find out that you're making fifty thousand and that fifty thousand might be just before training of two days so you realize that in two days you've made fifty thousand naira for yourself your pocket is now heavy like even your place of work will not pay fifty thousand naira in two days. We all know this, unless you're working in an oil company or all these big companies that pay that such amount of money. So you see that you've made so much money in two days, and then you keep teaching them. Maybe today you just give them basic, then the next day you can teach them master class, and you're making money for yourself. So the second point on my list is being an, aff an affiliate marketer. Most people do not really know what affiliate marketing is. So I'm going to break it down this way. Let's say, for example, now I buy a camera from Jumia. Okay, first and foremost, this is not sponsored by Jumia. I'm just using it as an example for this video. So let's say um, I buy a camera from Jumia. First and foremost, I have to register on Jumia to be an affiliate marketer. So after I've bought this camera from them, I have a link. They give me a link to this camera. And let that link, let's say now I'm, I'm a vlogger. I'm on YouTube now. I cannot put that link on my description. On my description. So if you now click on that link and say you want to buy that camera, you click on that link and you buy that camera. I get a certain percentage from Jumia. Jumia gives me a certain percentage of that money that was that money of the price of that camera. So I don't I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So basically, you can be an affiliate marketer if you have a high following on social media. You can buy something, okay, register with whichever company that uses it. Yeah, there are very few companies that actually do affiliate marketing here in Nigeria. So just register, look for look around, look for companies that do affiliate marketing, register with them, buy a product from them. Then you can come out. All that is required of you is just come out, maybe give reviews on why this product is good, and then tell people to buy the product using your own link if they buy using that your link you're getting something so imagine that let's say you're you're advertising because now you've bought let's say you bought a mug a mug that is a glass mug for drinking let's say you bought a mug and then you're giving an affiliate link and you now come let's say to instagram and ask oh this is what makes this mug different from every other any other mug you're going to buy from the market and 10 people buy that mug using your link you're getting something you're getting a certain percentage and that is huge money so all that is required of you is just to market that product and you're getting something out of it i don't know whether you understand if you don't understand it then meet me in the comment section maybe i would you need to ask me more questions and <laughs> i'll try and explain it for that i think this explanation i gave is the simplest way i can give i can explain this so the third ex um, um, business idea you can do why we are still under this quarantine thing lockdown thing is actually doing or selling writing an ebook and selling an ebook people are now indoors they don't have anything to do most people want to increase their knowledge most people are looking for things to read so the best thing now is to write an ebook and sell an ebook an ebook is just an an electronic book you can sell an electronic book maybe for novels you can sell an electronic book. let's say you have on a particular niche you're so good at let's say you're good at cooking you can sell an ebook in um if an ebook cookbook an ebook cookbook doesn't make sense or you can sell an ebook on fashion designing anything at all you're so good at just sell that ebook and you're going to make money out of it because people are looking for what to read people are looking for how to increase their knowledge yep so the next point is i think this is the fourth point that i'm about to mention 
the fourth point i'm going to mention now is being an influencer if you have a huge following then don't take it for granted be it on twitter on instagram on youtube on where again on facebook on any social media platform linkedin and um, pinterest whatever so many companies now are looking for influencers who can help influence their products who can help promote their products yeah so if you have that huge following all you can do is try and speak to companies to um register or to or to try and speak to companies that you want to help promote their goods and know that it can always be on a contract basis or a percentage basis so all you need to do is relate to it speak to whoever is their representative of the company you have in mind maybe for every sale that is being made you get something you get the commission out of it or you just do per contract basis it all depends on the company that you're working for so the fifth thing you can do right now is starting your own youtube channel yes starting your own youtube channel youtube channel is not something that um you get the money instantly like you get it unless you can get it instantly though but for you to get your money instantly on youtube okay first and foremost this is how you get money on youtube when you get to get your money on youtube you need to have 1000 subscribers you need to have had 4000 watch hours then youtube places ads on your videos and for people when people watch that ad to get paid that's how you make money on youtube but generally it's just a very few percentage of people that make money from it's from youtube immediately very few people and that very those very few people are people that put up one video and it just goes viral it just goes viral and then within two days or maybe one week or one month they've hit 1000 subscribers and they've hit 4000 watch hours. someone like me i've been on youtube january so that january and i'm still at 200 and something subscribers and my watch hour is still at 500 watch hour you see i still have a very long way to go but that does not it shouldn't discourage you youtube is not something as i said that you can just hit it like this unless you have a video that goes viral but it's a long-term thing so you can start up a video a youtube channel today and in the next one year you don't know how long this whole pandemic thing might actually end even if it even ends so soon starting up a youtube channel is a way of gaining more income for yourself so in the next let's say six months one year at the end of the day you're sure you're going to get something instead of just getting your normal salary at the end of the day after you've met your target your youtube um, target you're sure that something else is coming into your pocket and the good thing about youtube is that it helps you um sell other products it helps you market other products let's take for example now I'm into YouTube. I, I have 200 and something subscribers, which is not really small. That 200 and something subscribers is just little because from my analytics, what my analytics said is that people that watch my video, 70% of people that watch, is this 70 or 80? 80% so of people that watch my video are not subscribed to my channel. So you can imagine if 80 people are not subscribed to my channel, watch my videos then that means that i'm reaching out to more people so let's say now i have a business let's say i have a business in um let's say i have hair business i sell hair so now all i i need to do is i come to youtube not really because of i have 200 and something subscribers i will not come and advertise my hair business on youtube after 80 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so i come here I, I i sell my hair okay you can reach me on my instagram handle or my social media handle, any media handle at all come and buy my hair it's a way of promoting your other businesses i don't I don't know is it just a way of promoting your life you can also have friends also who can come to you and say okay help me promote this business so you mustn't really wait for um youtube to pay you before you start getting money your friend can come to you who sells who is into fashion design and say okay help me promote this my outfit at the end of the day maybe your friend pays you something if you want to collect money from your friend even if it's not your friend you can go out maybe you want to advertise phone for somebody someone's phone shop um telecommunication shop or whatever you're getting money out of it so youtube is also a very good thing you mustn't wait for youtube to pay you money you can actually be making money for yourself via youtube so the next um, um business idea i'll give to you is similar to is also starting a blog yes i know some people will say our blog is outdated and all that but still people are really making a whole lot of money from blogs just carve out your niche 
and you'll find out that you're going to really go well and the good and one thing with youtube and blog is that you just need to be consistent consistency is very key in in business basically consistency is key. you cannot come today and show up yourself open your shop today and then tomorrow customer comes and you're nowhere to be found so consistency is key in every business so it goes also to youtube and blog keep start up your blog write put up contents that are captivating that are interesting as well and then realize that people will come to your blog and you make money as well from the, from the blog the same way it works for youtube when um google put out and on your site you make money but even when google does not put up ads you can also put up ads for other people as i said before you can put up ads for yourself for your friends for any other person and you're making money out of it the next business idea you can go you can do at this point in time is actually face marks business and um, safety gears and hand sanitizers face masks is a necessity now like everybody needs a face mask now because i think right now they said if you don't go out to the face mask and you're arrested you pay a fine of five thousand naira so people need face masks now and it's not like they need just one or two face masks they need people need face masks day in day out so you can start selling face masks face masks is something that will make, give you so much income now even if i know right now that face mask business has been it's not it's not it's no longer as lucrative as it used to be in the beginning because now so many people are just doing anything and calling it face masks you see a one layered face mask and you now ask the question yourself a question like what would this face mask really do for you but people are just as far as there is something covering your face so people just say it's face masks but another thing which is also very good is safety gears so many companies right now have resumed work and they need safety gears to protect their staff so if you can do safety gears then you're in good money the next thing again is hand sanitizers hand sanitizers is something that i think you will never lose out of it it's not like the face mask on i think for for um hand sanitizers as far as you're using the right amount of alcohol there are some hand sanitizers i use and i'm like how is this supposed to be hand sanitizer no form of alcohol content in it to the best of my knowledge it doesn't feel like it there's a lot of sanitizers you use when you use it you get to feel oh there's something there's alcohol in it and then there are some again you use and you don't feel it it just feels like you just rubbed aloe vera on your body on your skin so if you have um if you can do good hand sanitizers you're very you're going to make a whole lot of money because when people realize that oh this person's hand sanitizer is really really contains um alcohol they will always want to patronize you hand sanitizer is something that people use all the time you go out you use hand sanitizers you open the door you use hand sanitizers you buy stuff you use hand sanitizers. you see that it's something that will give you so much money so going into hand sanitizers so the next business what part am i in now i think i'm this, this is the sixth business idea now so the sixth business idea now i'll be giving you is um food like people need food food is very important right now even if it means raw food or cooked food or whatever it is a very is a very very good business idea you can go into when i say raw food maybe your raw rice your beans your veggies anything you can think about that is still raw most people are still very skeptical about going out to buy some of these things so you can actually be a middleman in the sense that you buy these food stores maybe from the market and then you drop it at your customer's place so you find out that you're making money then at the end of the day you get a certain percentage for going out to buy these stuff and then bringing it back to your customer then cooking food cooking food you could go ahead to cook your beans your rice your soup some people are really tired now of eating their own food so they really want to give it another they want to give they want to taste something else so if you're good at cooking you can actually do this and you'll make a whole lot of money my friend just started her cooking business her cooking business i need to leave her flyer somewhere here so please if you're in abuja try and patronize her yes yeah, so you can go ahead and start up a cooking business it's going to pay people really need people must eat food no matter what happens people must eat food so the next point which is my seventh point now is you can start up a logistics and um, business when i say logistics business 
um, during this whole quarantine, during this whole lockdown period, I, I needed to deliver some things to my customers, but I, it was difficult for me to get a delivery company who, would, who could help me deliver. Not like they were not available. They were available, but they were, their hands were full. There was a period I needed to deliver something and I had told my customer I needed to, I was, I was going to deliver it by three o'clock. And I actually called this delivery company a day before, like, okay, I need to deliver this thing by 9 a.m. Like, it's going to be ready by 9 a.m. Come pick up by 9 a.m. So that my customer, because I told my customer, um, on or before 3 p.m., you're going to get your stuff. Come and pick up this thing by 9 a.m. Because it's going to be ready so that I can deliver it to this my customer. Do you know they didn't turn up? They didn't show up. When I realized what was going on, that was like by 12 o'clock. They kept telling me, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I'm like... I don't understand. I was thinking everywhere is on lockdown, so these logistics guys might not be making so much. But later on, the lady explained to me that uh, she's so sorry about everything that they had a whole lot, that the whole uh, that work was really they, they had so much at hand, and that was why they couldn't really meet up with my order. I had to cancel that order and requested for another logistics company who came and helped me deliver. So you find out that um logistics is very important people need to deliver one or two things like now i can't come to your house and pay you a visit but i need to let's say send you a movie that i just watched i need to maybe send you a movie i watch there's no other way i can send you movies maybe it's a hard a cd movie all i need to do is call the logistics company take this movie to this person or let's say i'm working at home and i need to pass a file to my other colleague yes you can pass a file via email but there are some files you cannot pass via email for example i'm into construction let's say i prepared a bill or let's say the architect needs to send send me a drawing even if the architect sends me a drawing on soft copy it's not going to be easy for me to work on soft copy so it's better the architect sends hard copy so let's he has to send it through a logistics guy who is going to bring it to me so if i know that logistics is very good it's a very good business idea you can start up now but before you start up this logistics company please and um, please I always advise that you go through it the right way so that your rider does not get um harassed by this law enforcement agent because right now as we all know these law enforcement agents are looking for a way to milk us some money so let's all be safe out there then the final point i'm going to be giving now is starting up um, a service oriented kind of business when i say service oriented kind of business yes um the lockdown has been eased a little you now realize that so many people had issues with their plumbing their electric house their furnitures their roofing yes the rain has started some people have now noticed that their roofs are leaking so you can start up services stuff where people can call you requesting that okay i need a plumber or an electrician or a roofer anything at all anything at all so start up that business is also very good at the, at this current time because you know most people will not just want to call anybody because of this whole thing you can't just call anybody where you don't know where they've been to so it's better you you call someone who is registered and who you're very sure will come kitted because you call someone let's say you call a plumber a regular plumber that regular plumber does not even mind all he will just do is maybe just put up a face mask because they're saying if you don't wear a face mask you're going to pay five thousand naira. so all he will just do is put up face masks he does not know that okay when he comes down from a car he's supposed to wash his hands or use hand sanitizer he doesn't know that but if you go and get someone who works with a company a proper company it's best believed that that company must have briefed its staff on um on health precautions they can take in this particular situation don't be surprised that these companies will actually give them um safety gears give them masks give them hand sanitizers and all of that so you're sure that you're you're also safe while calling someone to walk in your home so these are some of the businesses you can actually start now during this quarantine and you're sure you'll make money some of them is a long-term thing before you make the money it's going to be long term some of them you can make your money instantly but the most important thing is that you're starting up something you're not sitting down idle waiting for this whole thing to come and go so start up something start up something is really necessary you start up something now if you enjoyed this video please kindly give me a thumbs up if there are other ideas that you think i missed then please comment in the comment section we're all here to learn from one another Hope you did enjoy this video. Bye. Stay safe as well.